Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this midweek video for Fourth Presbyterian Church. A reminder always of our purpose. It is to advance the ways of God on earth and to help people experience the life of deep meaning, wholeness, and peace they seek. We changed the word create to experience. I like it a lot better. Uh, experience the life of deep meaning, wholeness, and peace they seek. So everything we do is about trying to figure out how to advance God's ways on earth and to help people uh, experience what they're hoping to find in life. So anyway, that's our mission. That's what we're about. We think the best way to do that is in a relationship with God through Christ and through the study and the practice of the values of our faith. So those are the things that we uh, are about at Fourth. Uh, this Sunday, we have Committee Sunday. Hope that you'll stick around for that day. Mark it on your calendar to come and be a part because it really is important to have your input, your thoughts, and your help in the process of planning what we're going to do for the church. Also, we have an ice cream social coming up on August 27th at 2 o'clock. That's a Saturday. Mark your calendars. Come on out. Have fun. Invite friends. Invite neighbors. Invite patriots and goons and henchmen. Okay, maybe not goons and henchmen, but invite everybody else. Anybody you can think of that might come and enjoy some snacks, some treats, some ice cream at our ice cream party. And if you have something you'd like to contribute, tell Robin Woodruff if you might uh, be interested in bringing your favorite treat. Something like this. Or this. Or even this. Whatever it is you might bring, tell Robin Woodruff so she'll know how to plan for the day. Also, we'll be collecting uh, items for students at Camp uh, Taylor Elementary School. So if you have any school supplies, or if you can go out and buy some school supplies and bring them over, backpacks, pencils, erasers, uh, glues, crowns, whatever kids in elementary school might need, bring them over. We'll take them over to Camp Taylor so that kids can have uh, some of the things that they need uh, to advance their education. Let's see, uh, we're going to have a Camp Cedar Ridge Adopt a Cabin Work Day again, August 28th, the day after the ice cream party. So August 28th, be prepared for that. We'll have a lunch immediately after church, and then we'll go out to Camp Cedar Ridge and work on Cabin 8. We've made great progress, but here's some things we need to do. We need to take down the front screens in Cabin 8. We need to get Cabin uh, 7 completely torn apart. Uh, we need to clear some space where we're going to have our fire pit and uh, probably make some general plans on how we're going to connect everything together. So those are the tasks we have. Dress for that occasion, or at least bring clothes that you can change into uh, for that occasion. Uh, this Sunday sermon, and this is the last announcement, uh, I said something on Sunday, but I'll remind you of it again. This Sunday sermon is about clarity. Let me be clear. This sermon is about clarity. All right. That was courtesy of Nick Wright. He said, missed opportunity this week when I made the announcement that I should have said it that way. And he's probably right. So, credit to you, Nick Wright. Anyway, this sermon is about clarity. I, I gave our Thursday class a an assignment last week. They didn't like it, um, but I gave them an assignment anyway. It was a simple assignment. It was to fold a piece of paper in a certain way and then to uh, draw certain things on that paper and then to kind of end up with it standing on the table. The instructions I gave, though, were just one, two, three, four, and five, and those instructions were intentionally confusing. I made them confusing on purpose, and it was fascinating to watch um, the kind of frustration. Now, it was no big deal. It was just a, a silly little assignment, so there's no you know great thing uh, weighing in on this. It didn't matter one way or the other. However, you could still, I could still sense some frustration because the directions weren't all that clear and they were confusing at points. And that uh, makes life a little bit of a struggle. It makes that task a little bit of a struggle. And so uh, I, I thought about clarity and I thought, you know what? It would be, um, it, it's very similar to the way life can be if we're not clear about where we're going and clear about who we are and clear about what our mission is in life. And so, uh, if we are confused, it seems like uh, we do kind of suffer from a little bit of uh, anxiousness, a little bit of frustration, a little bit of confusion, a little bit of uh, indecisiveness, and sometimes a feeling of being overwhelmed because we're not exactly sure where we're going or what we're doing. And, and to have clarity uh, seems to eliminate some of those issues. So I'm going to talk about that on Sunday. Hope you'll come and be a part of it or at least watch the video uh, on Sunday. Uh, as it's posted, and I'll send it out to everybody. If you're um, on our list, then you'll get uh, an opportunity to take a look at that video. So hope that you will watch that video. Feel free to comment. I'd love to have comments from people who are uh, watching our videos. That would be wonderful. Um, comment. Give us your thoughts. Anyway, that's it for the announcements this week. I don't have anything else. I hope things are going well for you. 
We have an awful lot of people who are struggling right now. Please keep uh, those folks in your prayers. We've got a lot of people. You know the list. You know the people. Um, so keep those good people in your prayers and in your thoughts. And if you have a moment, drop them a line. Send them a text or um, maybe write a letter or send a card or something. Just let them know you're thinking about them. Anyway, in the meantime, I hope you have a great week. And as always, go forth in Christ.